Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a um, product review video for you and I have a handful of empties and then also just some products that I've been using that I wanted to let you know what I think. Um, reminder, I am pregnant and my thoughts are not fully connected sometimes. I actually just got over from feeling really, really lightheaded. So um, I'm still feeling pretty good but I'm still having a lot of baby brain going on right now. Anyway, so I, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this Leave Living Proof. <laughs> I had them upside down in my shower, therefore that felt natural to me. The Living Proof uh, Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner Set. I showed you that way. So I loved these, loved these, loved these, loved these. I got these from a, that fit fun sale, I believe it was the fall edit sale. It was my very first sale. It was very exciting. Um, and they were $9 each. The big bummer about this last sale was the Living Proof uh, shampoo and conditioner. They were $21 each, and I just couldn't justify um, spending that much, even though it was still cheaper than what they retail for. But um, anyway, so I didn't spring for them. Would I get these again at full price? I think if I was no longer a member of FabFitFun, and I wanted to get a good, nice shampoo and conditioner, I might spring for these because these lasted me. I started using them in um, late October, and I just ran out, and it is mid-February. So they lasted a good four months or so, and that's pretty good. That was using these in conjunction with this, which is the next thing I'm gonna talk about. So I was using this and the conditioner lasted a long time because I was using the hair mask interchangeably. Now this is the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. This is the best hair mask that I've ever used. And it smells, the, the, it smells just like the shampoo and conditioner. Super high quality salon clean smell is what I think. Every time I used them, my husband would just be like, oh wow, it smells so good. And he's really picky about smells. I guess we all kind of are, right? We just have what we like. Anyways, so um, this is really excellent. Would I pay full price? Yes, I would consider paying full price for the entire bundle of the shampoo, conditioner, and this hair mask to use together last me four months. I think that that's a perfectly reasonable price for high quality uh, hair products. I'm throwing things on the floor, so I keep looking at the floor. Um, okay, so now on to this one. This is the Murad Refreshing uh, Cleanser. I don't recommend this. Um, number one, I don't recommend it because when I bought this, and I've mentioned this before on my channel, when I bought this, I was looking for a new cleanser that didn't have parabens in it. I found out my Cetaphil has par parabens. And I had bought this from the, ed the FabFitFun, I think also the fall edit sale, confident that it wouldn't have parabens because retail, this is like $68 and I paid nine and then next, <laughs> come to find out it has parabens in it as well. And it's like, what are you doing? You're such a like expensive products. Why are you putting parabens in your products? And um, also, I've started to pay more attention to Murad ingredients because of that. And I find their ingredients to be somewhat questionable. They, they kind of, they don't hold back in what they decide to use, it seems. Um, they have uh, pegs parabens, um, all, most of these ingredients that get flagged to be concerned about, what it boils down to, I found, is that they have the potential to be carcinogenic or otherwise toxic to our systems. Um, anyway, um, on top of the parabens, if you have dry skin, I definitely don't re recommend this. I have dry skin, it was a little too drying. Uh, I was able to counter it with using nice moisturizers and whatnot, but it was definitely a little bit too drying. I talked in another video about this and how it dried out my ears really bad. It was painful, um, my earlobes, because <laughs> I wasn't putting moisturizer on my earlobes, and then that caught up to me. Um, so here is another empty. This is another FabFitFun item, and I actually re-upped on it. Super Mood uh, One Minute Facelift Serum. And so I went ahead and I got another one. I did like it, I obviously, um, but I do feel like it did something for me. 
Now that I have another one, I am kind of feeling like uh, I, I could have just gone on to try something else, but it was a last call item in the winter edit sale, and uh, so I, I went ahead and just got one more, and then, I mean, it's a Finnish company, uh, and they use a chaga mushroom ingredient, which I had never heard of. It doesn't smell good. It, it smells pretty bad, but um, the bottle bottle's so nice and fancy feeling, and I do, like I said, I do feel like it did a lot to um, tighten up my skin in, not like in that dry, tight way, but just in the, like, tightening, firming kind of feeling, and, you know, maybe there was some magic ingredient that did that temporarily to give that illusion, but it certainly worked on me. <laughs> so that's that one. I have this empty. This is not a FabFitFun item. This is um, a vitamin C serum by Bay Body. So a few years back, I had purchased a mud mask on Amazon before FabFitFun, before my world was open to the beauty products that are out there. It's so fun. Um, I just wanted a mud mask, so I bought that, and they sent me this for free along with the mud mask. And I thought, oh cool, I knew nothing about vitamin C serums or what they could be for. Uh, so I tried it then and I thought it smelled pretty terrible. I didn't have the patience for terrible smelling um, products uh, at the time that I do now and I didn't use it and then I had it for about, it could be expired but I used it anyway. I had it for a couple years and then once I started learning the what vitamin C serums are for I thought oh might as well use that. Um, and so I used it up. It smells bad, like I said. Um, it has a little bit of a thickish consistency. Uh, and I think it also gave me a little bit of a tightening feeling, like in a good way, like the super mood. Um, but I don't know. I, I think I'm using the May Love now from the FabFitFun sale, the May Love Glow Maker. Now that this ran out, I started using this. And it, this is just so much nicer to use. So, so much nicer. So I'm not gonna be pursuing this to purchase again or anything like that. Um, but I do think that that was lovely that they sent this to me and I do like their mud mask. So the company is Bay Body. Um, very reasonable. Are you gonna, there you go. The company is Bay Body. Um, and it, it reasonably priced, I, Actually, I don't know if they're cruelty free or not or much else about the company to be perfectly honest But I do like their mud mask and that was really sweet of them to send me a free thing While I have this in my hand, I will show you the May Love Glow Maker if you um, If you did happen to get this in the uh, FabFitFun sale, I don't think that you're gonna regret it. It's a very very lovely light serum It's, it's somewhat watery and runny for a serum. Um, it doesn't smell, uh, it doesn't smell bad. It has a very light fragrance to it. I don't think that they put any fragrance in it at all. Um, and so it says, uh, it's a formula of vitamin C, E, ferulic acid, and sodium hyaluronate, which, uh, that hyaluronate, that's hyaluronic acid. Um, and it's made in the USA, which is nice. It's uh, cruelty free. I bought another one um, on the last sale. This is from the sale before this last one, so the winter edit, and now the spring um, add-ons just closed, and I bought another one so that I have a backup. So I'll be good on morning serums for a while. Um, okay, so there's that. I want to talk about this little guy. Oh my gosh. So this came in my Pediver box, and I am really, really happy with that box, actually. I'll do a bigger review on Pediver at some point, maybe after I get a couple more boxes. This is a plum oil, and this is made in uh, north of San Francisco, in like Napa or Sonoma or something, and it smells like plummy, cherry, almond amazingness. Oh my god, it smells so good. So good. And um, it's pure plum oil, and it goes on, and it feels thick, 
but it absorbs so well and I just, this little thing is $20. To buy a full size bottle like this size, I think, or even smaller than this, but like the one ounce size, like this size, is $72. So, and it's so good that when this is done, I would fully consider getting the $72 bottle. It's, it's so if you want to try it, this one is $20 and um, I don't know that you can see the writing on it. Anyway, it's, oh yeah, I think you can probably make that out. La Prunier, L-E-P-R-U-N-I-E-R. -E -E and I highly, highly recommend this. It is amazing. So I am going to nurse this and then consider buying the full one or even just getting this another $20 little itty bitty guy but this is amazing stuff um oh I wanted to talk about this I found this at a TJ Maxx in Washington DC um, when I was there in December and it is not it's Cora the Cora's wild rose face mask so this is not what came in the um, came as a choice in the spring box but this is yeah instant brightening what does that say instant brightening and illuminating mask um I yeah I saw this at a TJ Maxx I had to get it because I had tried the Cora's body butter <sighs> I'm a little winded too sorry <laughs> new pregnancy symptoms are coming at me like out of the blue all over the place um so I uh this smells really really good and it smells like a little bit minty. Um but not entirely. I don't smell a lot of rose, maybe like a little bit of floral, but um and it's not an overpowering smell. It's very creamy and you wear it and there's a slight tingle, like a slight cooling tingle. It's probably the mint. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely, lovely mask and my skin feels soft after I wear it. So I really like this. I really like Cora's Greek company. Um, and, uh, I'm really excited about the overnight sleeping mask in the box. So, um, that's that one. I have been using, here's another Mirad, um, product. And like I said, I am starting to question Mirad's ingredients. So this, uh, I believe it has pegs in it as well. Pay attention to the product, the ingredients on Murad. Murad also is one of those company that goes around saying they're cruelty free, but they're owned by Unilever. Unilever isn't cruelty free. I still haven't decided what to make of that when the parent company isn't cruelty free. I just feel like there's still, you're still kind of guilty, Murad. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let me know what you think about that. In the comments below I am winded <laughs> okay aside from the ingredients the way this feels is really nice it feels like a really rich moisturizer I feel like my skin feels very soft after I use it I'm happy to finish it up I am starting to steer away from Murad products though um, okay what else this is the skin owl neck plus um, neck smoothing and contouring neck concentrate so um this is really interesting this has <sighs> stuff by skin owl is really really <laughs> i'm so winded <laughs> okay it's really um the company is cruelty free. They have really um, sustainable practices. I really, really support the company. Um, this has like a gel, like aloe vera y, jelly -y kind of consistency. Uh, and it goes on like that and it absorbs like aloe vera would. So I very much like that. Um, and the ingredients are all natural. It, this is, this is a very, I don't know about all all natural actually, but um, mostly like witch hazel, organic aloe, organic jojoba, vitamin E. Um, like they're all a lot of organic too. Organic licorice. Everything's organic on top of being natural. It's it's extra natural. So the the ingredients are really really 
dependable, trustworthy, whatever word you want to use. I really, really do like the, these, this company. Um, because the ingredients are all natural, it doesn't seemingly work as quickly and efficiently. It's not as much of a miracle product as the companies like Dermalect that throw in all of the chemicals that do produce the results that we so eager, eagerly hope to see. Um, it also um, <clears throat> followed the Dermalect in uh, my next skin care routine. So that was kind of a tough act to follow for it. Um, I'm about halfway through. I very much think it's helping or at least keeping my neck skin from getting worse. If you've watched me, you know that I'm very concerned about the firmness in my skin, um, especially my neck. Uh, so this is very good. It followed the Dermalect, which was a tough act to follow. I have two, I buy, I have two more of the Dermalects to buy, but Dermalect, like Mirad, they just are pretty shameless in the ingredients that they use and they throw into their products. And if you're looking at ingredients and you're trying to steer clear of the potentially toxic or carcinogenic ingredients, I would be very, very uh, wary of the um, Dermalect products as well. This video is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna end it there. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Bear with me while I figure out all this pregnancy stuff. I meant to go to the gym after work today and I was driving there and I just got so lightheaded that it would have probably been really dangerous for me to go and get on a Stairmaster and I could have fainted. So I didn't go, but I have been eating like crazy and I have gained three pounds already. I'll be seven weeks tomorrow. So I just want to have pregnancy where I feel good. Um, so I wanted to try to get some exercising in, but I couldn't do it today. Anyway, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I talked about things that I've already talked about, but um, I figured I could give you like a, especially for the empties, like when all is said and done, what do I think about this product? Um, anyway, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.